Kate Dillingham. Uh, I'm here to talk about our Bach edition and the subsequent recording. This edition that was published by G. Shermer was co-edited by Greenhouse and Dillingham. I became a student of Bernard Greenhouse at Rutgers University. The reason it came about was that as I was preparing for a debut recital in New York, I was playing the second of these sonatas and at the time Bernie Greenhouse offered me his score his own copy and said here have a look and I studied it thoroughly and I thought wow this is really something special and I asked his permission and he granted it happily and I went to G. Shermer where I had some contact they were very excited to publish it. My compatriot David Flax usually does publications but when Kate came in since I knew a lot more about cello notation and I expressed interest in the project. He asked me to take it over for the editorial purposes and engraving. And so I did. When Greenhouse handed me this copy, I was so worried it was just going to disintegrate in my hands. Bernard Greenhouse studied these pieces and was preparing them for a New York debut back in 1946. And so the result of, of the work he did with Duran Alexanian on fingerings and bowings, he then played for Pablo Casals, and Casals advised on interpretation. So I felt very fortunate. I feel that I'm a living link to the past. This is the, the very first one, and he, Greenhouse, actually got to see it, and he wrote a little inscription for it for me in there, which mm -hmm. I thought was really, really lovely. In 2015, G. Shermer did a second printing. It corresponded with the 100th anniversary of Bernard Greenhouse's birth, and I thought, what an opportune time to realize a dream that I had about recording these pieces. What's important, I think, about this edition and this recording is that it brings to life a great tradition, historical tradition of playing, of passing information from one generation to the next. It's been a, a dream come true for me.